Hello, and welcome to Our Devotions. We're together, we're developing lives with God at the center. I'm Daniel, and this is my amazing wife, Amanda. Hello, today we're gonna to be talking about healing, starting off in the book of 1 Peter. So grab your Bible and get ready to dive right in with us. As we get into to 1 Peter, there's a verse that I don't know. I know when I first learned it as a kid, or I learned part of it, you should get this like, by his stripes, I am healed, yeah. which is the New King James. But I've got the ESV here. It says, he himself bore our sins on his body on the tree that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds, you have been healed. That is such an amazing and powerful, powerful verse. When we recognize that healing is, is something that God has for us, something that yeah. God paid for for us. In Psalms 103, verse 2, it's listing some of the benefits um, from the Lord. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. Yeah. Um, it's so powerful, but there is a tendency to go, well, I haven't seen it, so I guess I don't have it. And to to miss out on what God has. There's this yeah. assumption that goes, hey, if God has it for me, it's going to land on my lap and hit me like a brick. Yeah. And that's not true. In fact, you can have things that are paid for and be unaware of it and not benefit from them. Yeah. We just had a couple of conversations over the last like two weeks where we discovered things or she discovered things that she had had for a long time that she was unaware that she had. Uh, still a little annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're, we're having a conversation and I'm sitting at her desk chair and while we're talking, I'm fiddling with the little like contraptions that are underneath it and there's one of them that makes it go up and down. I'm like, ooh, that's not it. She's like, what are you doing? And I popped it the other direction and I leaned her chair back. And she's like, what how? I didn't know my chair did that. <laughs> been sitting there for years it's fine <laughs> so so it was it was hers it was her, it was a benefit that had been provided to her but her ignorance of the benefit denied her of its blessing yeah and then i walked around with the computer and i was checking out her computer because she had a problem <laughs> oh my gosh i had this computer for like over a year yeah and so this, this laptop and so i folded it over it's a two-in-one uh so it folds completely Sideways to be like a tablet while I was messing with it, trying to fix something. And I'm like, what? <laughs> what? Obviously, I don't read user manuals and I really should start. <laughs> and on that one, I'm the one who purchased it, so I saw the ads and know it. But it just left me pondering, going, how easy is it to have something that's paid for, yeah. to have something that's provided, to have something that's yours, and have a user manual, <laughs> but not reap the benefit? Yeah. And so it's so important that we get into the word and that we begin to apply it. Because if we don't, we limit what we receive, even though it's been paid for. Yeah. Psalms chapter 78, verse 40 says, How often they provoked God, him, being God, in the wilderness and grieved his heart. Yes, again and again, they tempted God and limited the Holy One of Israel. They did not mm -hmm. remember his power the day when he redeemed them from the enemy. When they were filled with doubt because yeah. they forgot what God had done, they limited what God wanted to do in their life. Yeah. Today, I think there are so many people that have limited what God wants to do in their lives. Yeah. There are so many people that are unaware of the benefits that he paid for, that they are leaving them limited. They are leaving them unclaimed, unused, and unapplied. Yeah. But when we can get in and go, okay, so what does the word say? It says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, Romans chapter 10, verse 17. Yeah. It said here in 1 Peter that by his stripes or by his wounds, mm -hmm. you have been healed. In James 5, verse 14, is any one of you sick? He should call the elders of the church to pray over him and anoint him with oil. And the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well. The Lord will raise him up and if he has sinned, he will be forgiven. I love that when you look at this, it doesn't say, if someone's sick, you should pray and ask God if he made them sick. Yeah. You should ask God 
is it your will to heal them? Yeah. He just goes, no, if they're sick, that's not the way it's supposed to be. Yes. Yeah. Bring it. God desires for them to be healed. If they're sick, that's not the way it's supposed to be. Bring them. Let's pray. Let's see God's will done on earth as it is in heaven. Yeah. And I love how just a matter of fact that is. Yep. Because there's so many groups that have gotten off and like, well, I don't know. But Jesus, he, he says, it says that he took up our infirmities and carried our diseases. He himself bore um, them. And it goes over and over. In Matthew chapter 10, verse 1, it says, um, He gave them authority to drive out evil spirits and to heal every, every yes. disease and sickness. And I love that 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 every, and he yes. goes through in Matthew chapter 28 and says that all authority has been given to me. Go therefore. And he commissions them again yeah. to go and to pray for the sick. And I love how there's such complete, such a matter of a fact, this is God's desire. Yes. This has been paid for, so go after it. Yeah. And, and he commissions us. He says in Matthew 10, verse, uh, verse 8, Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, drive out demons. Freely you have received, freely give. And it's such a, a massive thing. And so I want to go into some confessions and then I want to pray for you. If there's a spot that you're looking and you're going, hey, I need some physical healing. I need uh, heart. I need emotional healing. If there is healing that is needed in you, I want you to think intentionally going, all right, that's what I'm bringing right here because by his stripes, I am healed. Confess yeah. these and then we're going to pray. Yeah. And remember, all of these are based on the Word of God. These are not just things that are nice to say, but we're confessing God's Word over us. Yes. All right, repeat these out loud after me. Jesus bore my sickness. Jesus bore my sickness. And carried my pain. And carried my pain. Therefore, I give no place to sickness or pain. Therefore, I give no place to sickness or pain. Father, because of your word. Father, because of your word. I am an overcomer. I am an overcomer. I overcome the world. I overcome the world. The flesh and the devil. The flesh and the devil. By the blood of the lamb. By the blood of the lamb. And the word of my testimony. And the word of my testimony. No evil shall befall me. No evil shall befall me. Neither shall any plague come near my dwelling. Nor shall any plague come near my dwelling. For you have given your angels charge over me. For you have given your angels charge over me. They keep me in all of my ways. They keep me in all of my ways. And my pathway is life. And my pathway is life. Healing and health. Healing and health. Jesus took my infirmities. Jesus took my infirmities. And bore my sicknesses. And bore my sicknesses. I refuse to allow sickness to dominate my body. I refuse to allow sickness to dominate my body. The life of God flows within me. The life of God flows within me. Bringing healing to every fiber of my being. Bringing healing to every fiber of my being. That which God has not planted. That which God has not planted. Is dissolved and rooted out of my body in is, Jesus' name. Is dissolved and rooted out of my body in Jesus' name. 1 Peter 2.24 is engrafted into every fiber of my being. 1 Peter 2.24 is engrafted into every fiber of my being. And I am alive with the life of God. I am alive with the life of God. The same Spirit. The same Spirit. That raised Jesus from the dead. That raised Jesus from the dead. Dwells in me. Dwells in me. Permeating His life. Permeating His life. Through my veins. Through my veins. Sending healing throughout my body. Sending healing throughout my body. Well, God, I thank you that by your stripes we are healed. Yes, God. And that you're doing a healing work right now in each person who's yes. joining us, no matter what time they're joining. God, I speak to that person whose heart is having issues, that that right artery will clear up right now. God, I speak to those that are struggling right now with diabetes, that there is healing from the damage that those that that has caused in their body and their feet. God, I speak healing into them right yes, now. God, God everyone with a digestive issue, I speak healing. God, I thank you that we are redeemed from the curse. The allergies are yes. part of the curse. And there is healing right now that Jesus. that pancreas is functioning now, that it comes to life right now. I speak yes. healing into that body. Cancer, I command you to leave. Colds, I command you to leave. Migraines, your time is done. Be healed in Jesus' yes, name. God. That shoulder being healed right now. Arthritis, rotator cuffs, healing right now. God, I thank you for every person, no matter what their disease, no matter what their illness, that by your stripes, healing they are healed, that your name is above every name. And I command sickness to flee in Jesus name. I speak health and wholeness to them in Jesus name. Yes. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us today. We hope that this blessed you. If it did, please like, share, and subscribe. 
And we want to invite you to get into the Word for yourself each day to discover who God is and what He has for you. Be blessed. We'll see you again.